Hello, I'm here with... Not involved. I'm running. By the way, I was supposed to say that first, but I forgot. I really wanted to tell you what the name of this game was, because apparently it's a creepy visual novel. It's the first chapter. There aren't any more of it yet, but it looks so cute. The art style is great. The music sounds pretty good too, so I wanted to check it out. Also, previously I tried another horror game and I was feeling like a horror game and I noped the fuck out because I can't do first person uh, escape games. I have no idea how I played like half of Outlast when I was younger. Absolutely no idea. Now my hobby just goes up the roof and I'm like, nope, uh, this is not worthy, it's just a game. But I'm here with this thing. It's cute. Look at the beautiful art style. I love it already. My friend. I'll leave this still world pretty soon. Yes, I'm still in the same town and I'm not getting any better. If you have a desire to meet me for the last time, then use the warm. I don't think I have much left time left. Yours, Amari. P.S. I'm not mad about the skull. That's good. Thank you not being mad about the skull. The skull. Dot dot dot. And of course you will go headlong. After all, it's Amari who wrote this. It's for 13 years you've lived well without him. Well, okay, relatively well. And here you are. Don't tell me that you're gonna use a worm for this. Sooner or later, they will drain you. I won't forgive myself if I let Amari down this time as well. It's supposed to have some sort of Doctor Who-esque scenario. I mean, our main character is called Doctor. That's a worm. Underground worms came into use not so long ago. For a modest price of one memory, you could even get to the other side of the continent. So, what do we choose this time? It's a long way, so you have to give something of value. Exam. You make yourself comfortable, close your eyes and... Here is the next patient. You will need to find out what happened and prescribe a treatment. Before you is a girl who looks quite healthy, although it's very sad. Does she look healthy? Good evening, how do you feel? I'm okay. Well, I can tell you one thing, there is clearly something wrong with her. Does anything hurt? No. Hmm. Hey, just check how she, uh, she sits. Look into her eyes, on her hands. Apathy, depression, all at once. Turns out he tricked you. You'll have to work with mental illnesses as well. This is going to be fun. What, is this my specialty also? I didn't prepare for this. Say nothing, try to identify the cause, symptoms and help. How are you? How often do you feel good lately? Do you have en enough energy for daily activities? What activities do you find enjoyable, if any? I like to lie and do nothing. Just lie down and stare at the ceiling, at the walls. It's uh, nice to hold the little one in my arms sometimes. She reminds me of my mother, about how good she was. Are you eating enough? Do you have thoughts of death or, or suicide? How could I keep with focusing and making decisions? Are you eating enough? I can't even look at food. After her father left, I only cook for the little one. It is very important to have the strength for everyday affairs and taking care of the little one. Yes, I understand that. I try to eat at least a small crust of bread once a day. 
I think you've learned enough. Of course, you could ask further, but this is not your field, is it not? The girl's clearly depressed. And how can we help her? I'll prescribe you a medicine that should help you, but in general, it's all in your head. Just cheer up. You need to smile, Maud. Then life will be better. Here is your medicine. It will help relieve the symptoms, and here are some tips. Unfortunately, we have very few people who are ready to help you with the conversations at the moment. It's not certainly perfect, but it might work. Try to find people who are ready to support you spiritually, that is, to talk to you. For example, your relatives, friends, and in some cases, religion. Some do not require you to join them and are ready to help for free. I know that you now have a younger sister whom you're looking after. This is very good. She's your anchor that keeps you from drowning in your depression. The medicine is taken twice a day, in the morning and evening. There may be side effects such as nausea, diarrhea, palpitations, but don't worry, it'll pass soon enough. It's not forever. After two weeks or so, you will definitely feel better. Don't say that. Don't say that. It's like there now is a pressure to feel better after two, two weeks, okay? As you get better, try to find people. Socialization is very important, but don't overdo it. If you feel like you're starting to get tired of it, give yourself a break. Correct. Support from people is very important at times like these. Excellent. Yeah, great job. You weren't ready, but you did the job. Everything starts to get dark, sounds are muted, nausea sets in. And here you are again inside the worm. It's stuffy and calm here. Hmm. What is that in the background? It's kind of cool. This poor thing. Is it still getting its memories sucked out? Hmm, it seems like I shouldn't have chosen this memory. I have a feeling I could have used it well later. Soon I will forget who I am and why I live completely. Time to go out. This is your stop. Let's not go by the worm again, okay? This town again. It stinks terribly. The smell of rot, most likely coming from those half decompressed corpses in the distance. Their howls can be heard even from here. Well, you won't find your way down. So you'll have to rely on friendliness of the locals. Nearby you can see a frowny old man who is staring right at you and the skeleton plowing a garden. Behind the nearest of the huts you hear a man swearing and a sound of creaking trees? Check out the noise behind the nearest hut. Sounds come from the other side of the hut. Closer you get to the building, the more clearly you hear the rough male voice and the some would rumble. You turning a corner, you run into a living tree? It's more dangerous here than it seems. Careful, it'll crush you. But the creature passes by. Wow, what a monster. You need some time to pull yourself together. It's just a tree. You won't call it a monster. In the yard, under a canopy, you see a man lying on the ground. What you're staring at? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Could you tell me how we can find Amari? I'm ready to help you under one condition, Shorty. You get me out of here in one piece. Deal. There's a road. Go to see a house with a spire. Turn right. The third house on the left is Amari's house. Now be gone. Thank you. You know how to get to Amari's. Let's go. Well, approach the skeleton. Good day to you. He looks up from his work and turns to you. Good day, friend. You're certain that he had, if he had skin and muscle on his face, he would be smiling right now. 
What are you doing here? Oh me, I'm waiting to bet her help old the old Izumi. He's feel his children love him. Oma has to work alone in order to feed himself. So he decided to help a person in need. You nod. You know how I can find a Mari? Sure. Follow the road till you see a house with a spire. From it turn to right and the third on the house on the left, which is located at the distance from all the others, will be a Mari's hut. Thank you. The old man is still staring at you. Do you want to approach him or shall we go to Amari? Approach the old man. The closer you get to the old man, the less friendly he becomes, though it cannot be said that he ever looked like he was glad to see you. He smells strongly of alcohol and tobacco. His breath is hoarse. Lung injury, most likely asthma, tuberculosis, do you really care? Before you open your mouth, he starts. Look who's that. It's me, Ahem Ahem Ahem. One smugget has found its way to our little town. Don't you feel sorry for yourself? You willing to give these monsters a piece of uh, yourself? Are you in such a hurry to live your life? We'll see how you'll feel when they dry you completely. These worms, do you know where they come from, huh? Ahem, <laughs> that's it. They appear out of nowhere. And ye maggots are glad. Do you even know what they do with these memories? They keep them and wait patiently. And what are they waiting for? That's simple. They want to understand how and by what we live so that it would be easier for us all to be destroyed and de devoured that's right gobble up they know that if in, they start eating right away they'll most likely be exterminated that's why they wait cunning creatures where the folks like he help them become stronger I get spat on. He spits at your feet. Well, should we wait until he finishes cursing, or should we go to someone nicer and stop wasting our precious time? Leave. Let's just leave. Pretty, pretty eyes. Well, you've asked everyone you can. Time to move to Amari. You follow the road. Oh. Stretch. Turn right from the house with the spire, and there it is. The third house on the left is on the outskirts. It doesn't look very good. Approaching the door, you notice that all the shutters are closed. That's what you notice. Ah, not the fact that it barely looks like a house. I mean, it's a hut, but it really doesn't look like a house. Well, at best, it looks like an abandoned house. You knock. Nobody answers. You knock harder. Under your fists, the door opens quite slightly. How will you enter? Gently and quietly open the door. You carefully, without creaking, open the door. But my chair will creak. You are in the hallway. It's cl clean here. Looks like somebody has recently cleaned. From the hallway, there is another door that you decide to open. And there? A smell of rot and decay. Very familiar to you. What is there to say? Oh, you're eating birds. That's disgusting. Just the heads do. Yeah, gore. I think we knew that already, but yeah. Gore. Ugh. Amari. What the heck are you doing? Gah. Thank you for playing the first chapter of Not Involved. 
we put our heart and soul into this game, so it would mean a lot to us if you would fee leave your feedback on the game's page. Not involved is and will be available for free so that more people can experience it. We rely on the support of our patrons to keep working on this great game. To be continued. That was nice. I liked it. It was creepy. What even is that? Is that an eye? Was that the tree man? Anyway. Very nice. I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Anyway, I look forward to the second chapter of this, whenever that comes out. And I hope you like this as much as I did. I'm gonna put that down anyway. So, where was I? Oh, somewhere. Anyway, thank you for watching. I, I said that already. Have a great day and bye!